Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through how I copied data from this. Um, this is Social Blade. It's basically a chart of data that I have on Social Blade, but it's just HTML data, and they don't offer a way to download it in Excel format. So I want to take this data, which is roughly 100, 100 rows and about 14 columns, and I want to take this and I want to put it in Excel, and I want it to eventually... Um, look like this Oops. I want to eventually look like this where it's copied in just like it is in the uh, social blade the problem is when you copy over from um, social blade when you do a copy here a copy and paste um, it puts it in a cut one exact one column like this over here so you end up with just a column of data with all your uh, information like that. There's no way that I know of to copy it and paste it and have columns in the right places and then the rows in the right places. It wants to uh, put it over like this. So I'm going to show, first of all, how to copy and paste it into this format and then um, how to transpose this column into a data going across like this and then we're going to use some um, Excel hackery to uh, get it to so that the columns and rows uh, line up properly so let me go through um, how we do it I'll start off from scratch here so let's go to my social blade page that I want I'm going to uh, make this big and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here I'm just going to copy what I want to copy oops get that be there okay I'm going to copy the whole column this is basically a, a list of 100 websites that I follow or uh, YouTube channels I'm just going to hit copy then I'm going to go over to my um, Excel and I am going to um, first I'm going to make this wider first so it doesn't make my columns weird and I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to hit uh, paste I'm going to mass, uh, match uh, destination formatting and it puts them all in one column here as you can see it's just all my uh, data so there is um, a hundred of these uh, data points run for each channel and then 14 data points for each channel so uh, what I want to do now is I want to take this data and I want to transpose it going across instead of going up and down I want it to go uh, side to side so I'm just going to take all this data I'm going to copy it I'm no Excel uh, genius here so I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to um, do a lot of the things that I'm doing quicker but um, this is just the way I know how to do it. I'm actually just making this video, so the next time I need to do this, I know how to do it. And I thought maybe if somebody else could benefit from it. Okay, and we are going to hit copy. Now this time we're going to come up here and we are going to hit, um, let's go over here, let me make some room. We're going to go over here, we're going to hit paste special, we're going to hit transpose. And that will put the data um, across. Okay, so I'm gonna spread these out so you can kind of see what these what these are here, right here. Okay, so right now I've got the data, the same data that was going up and down, but now it's going across. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to now I've got um, let's say make this bigger here so we can see. I've got the data that I want here. I got the channel name and then all the 14 data points um, going across here. But now I want to take this piece of data, this one, and put it up underneath. Okay, so um, what you really got to do here is you got to do a little bit of a hack in Excel. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to switch over. I'm going to go up here to File and Options in Excel. We're going to go to the data. I'm sorry, uh, formulas. And this right here, R1C1, we're going to change our reference style. Instead of being A, B, C, D, E, F, we're going to change it to uh, rows and column numbers. We're going to change that to that. So now you see that instead of A, B, C, D and all that stuff, it's row one, column one. 
And so what we're going to do right now is we are going to um, do an equal sign. So actually we're going to do um, LG. I'm just going to put my initials. And then, oops, I put it in the wrong column. I want to do it right here. I want to do LG. And then I want this cell, this cell information right here. So that would be R3 C7. R3. You're not going to have to input that much of this data. Uh, most of it's going to be auto-filled. So, but you're going to have to do at least two for each uh, column in a row. And then you're going to want the uh, next one, which would be LG R3 again. But this time, when I want the next one, the next channel starts at 20. So I want instead of C7, I'm going to start C20, like that. Okay. So um, what that does is that if I do this now and I copy this down, it will um, copy over all that data, okay? But so now I want to go down, but I also want to go across. So we're going to do the same thing here. So this one would be LG R3 again, but it would be um, C8, right? Because the next piece of data I want is right here. I'm sorry, uh, C8, which would be um, right here, right? So it's, uh, this is C7, this is C8, so I want C8, right? And then the next one we're going to do here is LG R3. Uh, R3 C2021. So you see what we did. It was C7, C8, C20, C21. Okay. So what we're going to do here first, we're going to go like this. And we're going to drag this. So you, you copy these first two. Right. Or you highlight these first two. And you grab this little corner right here or the plus sign. And you drag it across to the end of your data points. And it, and it fills them in. Basically it. Now it knows C7, C8, C9, it knows that it keeps the R3. So it, it's doing, it's grabbing those numbers. Okay. And I'll tell you why I put the LG here in a minute. Okay. So do the same thing for, um, for this one. I have to do the same thing. So I'm going to go, go highlight here. We're going to go over here like this. We're going to grab this. Okay. So now we've got, um, our rows and columns all set up. Now what I have to do is drag um, each one of these columns down to fill the rest of the numbers and just follow along with me here. So you highlight these first two. So it's C7, C20. The next one would be um, in uh, that same um, sequence. And I'm going to go down to roughly 100 or something like that. Because basically how long my I have 100 data points or 100 uh, columns. Do the same thing here. Okay, I'm just fast forwarding along here doing this because it's kind of repetitive, but it only took me a couple of seconds. This is the only repetitive thing you really need to do in this sequence, but it's basically just dragging those first two or highlighting those first two and then dragging them down. Um, if there's a faster way to do this, please leave a comment and let me know what that could be. Okay, now we've got all the columns and rows filled in with the, the numbers, okay? And they follow the sequence. So this is C7, C20, C23. So you can see they're following 13 uh, ahead, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to highlight our entire table here now. And we are going to hit Control H brings up find and replace and now we're going to replace LG so I've got LG in here so you just type in LG or whatever whatever uh, number you use and replace with equal sign okay 
and we're going to hit replace all. And so now, it since it replaced those equal signs with the um, the LG with the equal signs, now it goes in uh, because we've got our, our numbers instead of our letters. It goes ahead and replaces all the data, so all my data matches up now, um, all in nice columns and rows, and I didn't have to manually uh, either type in the data or uh, transpose it over. I'm sure there actually might be even an easier way to do this. I don't know what that is, but um, as you can see now, from I'll bring the bring up this at the same time here, and I will uh, bring this down. Oops, go like this. Go like this. So you can just see you can see that uh, my data is correct here. Oops. You can see that my data is correct here. So uh, cheap RV living, 345. Go downsize. Let's say they are 109, 109, 33. I'm just checking my data to make sure it's all correct all the way over. Let's look at the uh, the number of views. Go down size 17 million. Go down size 17 million. So yeah, so all my data I did copy over correctly, which is great. Um, but that's how you do it. That's how you basically take the data um, from uh, a table like this, an HTML table like this, and then uh, bring it over into um, Excel. I couldn't do some of the other ways in Excel that you can do it. A lot of times in in uh, Excel, you can, um, oops, sorry, you can go into data and you can go get data and you can go get from other sources and then you can get from web and you can put in um, the URL of where a table is, but that wouldn't work with the social blade one because um, I have an account there and it generated this table from my account. So there was no way for it to find this table. If it's a static web page with a table you can do that uh, that method in Excel but uh, that wouldn't work in this situation so one thing I did forget to say that if you don't want to keep with this uh, R1C1 setup you know after you're after you're done you can always go back to your options and uh, go back to data no formulas formulas and unclick R1C1 reference and it goes back to your to your numbers and all your data stays fine it's just it's a reference thing I guess you can't because the computer can't do autofill with letters. Uh, it can only do it with numbers. Um, that's why you needed to change it over to the R1C1. Um, but anyways, that's it. The, the cool thing is now when I want to go back to my favorites and like like in a couple months, let's say I want to go and you know all this data has changed, I can just go and uh, you know copy it, copy it again, and copy it, copy the new data. And I can hit copy. And then I can go back over to my spreadsheet here. And I can do my my paste again. So I can paste it again over here. And then I can transpose it across the, the line again. And once once I do that, once I, I copy and transpose it back into this line, as long as I do it in the in the right places again it should automatically just fill back into this chart again. So I can just copy, you know, copy this sheet and move a copy, create a copy, right? Try to transpose cells to it, bring that down to the end here. Now this is my copy. So the next time I go, I can just do my, my paste in here and transpose it across again. When I transpose it across, into this uh, data, as long as I put it in the same place, it should drop all my numbers back in again. So each each month or whatever it is I want to do this, it's easy to copy and paste it right back in again. So um, anyways, that's how I did that. Uh, if anybody sees this and benefits from it, please uh, leave a message and uh, let me know if there is a better way to do it. I would definitely uh, like to know that. Um, because uh, I struggled with this for a while to kind of figure this out. I found a, uh, a website from this girl right here. Let me pop this over here, right here. I've actually found it from this girl's uh, YouTube channel. Um, what's her name here? Uh, that's why her initials are LG. My initials are LG also. Um, 
but she is the one that helped me find this um help me find this uh hack here and i kind of just took she did it very simple with just a couple of numbers but i need to do it with more columns and rows so uh thanks to her for kind of giving me that little hack in the doing the r1c1 um and uh and doing that anyways that's how i did it uh please uh let me know what you think and uh if you got a better way to do it or any tips that i could pick up on um please let me know thank you